something changed, an, an odd twist. I asked Paul if he was ready right before I started recording. I I haven't done that ever. Usually I didn't even notice him. Mid-sentence. We've been not that anyone would even notice this, but we've been recording a little late this week, and um, it's really it's it's funny how much it's thrown me off. Like I usually I sit down at the computer, and this is like the first thing we do. I do, and then uh, I work, you know. And then these days, because we're recording a little late, I start writing, mm -hmm. and then Brad prompts me, and I'm like, "What? Like what? I don't this even." This <laughs> no, it's like out of my brain. Like I just like yeah, you know. Anyway, not it's not a big deal. It's just weird. Like I, I don't know. I'm just schedule based or something. I don't know. Well, something you should base your opinion on <laughs> is Fortra's alert lot alert logic because it offers the most comprehensive managed detection and response coverage for public cloud software as a service on premises and hybrid environments. To learn more, head on over to alertlogic.com. Or stick around for the rest of this podcast. You can go to the website and listen to the podcast if you're one of those fancy multitasking people. You know, one thing I struggle with, a and I, you could life. probably name a few. Yes, <laughs> sorry, that was a dumbly open-ended <laughs> statement. Oh, trust um, me, I've got a scroll. Like I can just yeah, keep... <laughs> like actually, I have a, I keep a notebook about this. Uh, no, I uh, so I don't use multiple screens typically. Um, in, wow. in what can, what can only be I know. And I listen. I've tried, and everyone who uses multiple screens and loves multiple screens doesn't understand what my problem is. Like I get that. Um, <laughs> right now, I'm in, sitting in front of three screens. I, it, my system has been like this for a while now. I actually have two of them off because I can't stand using multiple screens. But the issue for me is when I do shows like Windows Weekly, we have like a Discord channel. I want it to be on, but I my screen has already got a bunch of stuff on it, so I kind of want to put it off to the side. So having a screen over on the side here works well for that. Mm -hmm. But I also do a podcast called Hands on Windows, and I, I have notes that I take, and I, I, I'm i not reading. Well, I mean, I'm reading my notes, but I'm not reading what I wrote you know, into the podcast, but I'm using them as a frame of reference. I want to make sure I cover mm -hmm. everything, right? The thing is, when it's over there, I, I, you know, I have to look over there, and it's kind of a weird problem. So I set up a screen that's kind of below the screen. But as I was watching you do that ad read, it occurred to me, you know, what I really need is like a, is I, the problem, sorry, the problem being I have to record the screen that's right in front of me, mm -hmm. right? So I can't have it on there. I can't have my notes on the screen because it's being recorded. This is a problem no one else has. I'm sorry. I need like a teleprompter is what I need. But I'm a teleprompter for no, I don't know how to, how do you even, no. This is just a Paul problem. So yeah, I'm yeah, I really think this is isolated. As I, to... as I step through it, I realize this is like not a problem other people have. So. The end value on this is one, and I'm talking to. <laughs> Can we just talk about things that only affect me? <laughs> is that is that a podcast? I guess it isn't. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm so off today. So Intel, uh, this is like hot off the press announced yeah. that they are killing off the i and like core i9 and i7 mm -hmm. and i5 and they're going to go with like core ultra and intel core and yeah so i i saw the announcement lauren is writing it up as we speak i, I this was rumored I, so i saw mm -hmm. something about this a month or two ago i don't quite understand where we're going here right so removing the i okay fine but I, now I we have, have a core... hypothesis paul throat okay oh, well <clears throat> m2 max say... m2 ultra Yes. Okay. So, in other words, we've got um, a new, the Meteor Lake uh, generation of processors is like a gen, what do they call it, four? It's not a four nanometer, but it's a mm -hmm. whatever, new process, right? Yep. Obviously, Intel's gone to hybrid chips. So, we've gone, we just talked about this the other day, the move from dual to quad core chipsets was a big mm -hmm. deal, but now we have, you know, whatever they are, eight to 12, you know, they're different now. Um, what is I, the thing I haven't? I just haven't read the announcement, yet, so I don't know. But like, what differentiates a core from an ultra? A core ultra? Like, is it cores? <laughs> is it uh, the difference between like what used to be or is today like a U or a P or an H series? Or will these things still have U, P, and H series within them? Is the basic core just what we used to call Celeron and Pentium? Or uh, what? I don't even. It's too many brands. There are. I don't get it. I don't. So I don't understand it yet. I, I have to. I'll have to go read it. I. 
I don't yeah. know. Well, we'll see. Right now, it looks like they're just going to go with like Intel Core 3, Intel Core 5, Intel Core 7. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're basically copying the BMW model. We're going to end up with a 7 series. <laughs> like, nice. There'll be the hatchbacks versions. Uh, the, the performance will be called the M7. Uh, yeah, yeah. We'll use X for the... For like the server know, infrastructure. Uh, the two-in-ones because they do uh, like crossovers or something. I, I don't know. It's confusing. It is. And so they're they're making that what less the confusing by for? removing what, the I from in front. What of was them. the I? Was that just Intel? I don't know. It was probably left over from the early Apple generation where everything was iWatch and whatever. And okay. iPhone and iPod. I, I mean, I remember, you know, the Cora brand came up out of Israel, that company that Microsoft, or, uh, Intel bought. Mm-hmm. And um, the first version was single core, right? It was yep. core solo and then core duo. And then I think from the after core duo, I think core two they, duo, was core there. two duo. That's right. That's right. And then I think they switched the core I branding probably after that. Hmm. Yep. Okay. So. I mean, it's in the same ballpark, I guess. I... Anyways, to tempt you back with chasing the dragon, um, showdown on call of duty. It's pretty good. It's pretty, it, the, <laughs> the brilliance of this Paul Thrupp yes. was, first off, there were neurons in my brain connecting that have not touched each other for probably eight, ten years, whenever this last came out. Mm-hmm. But you drop in, and, like, you know this feeling. Like, you know where everything is. And mm-hmm. so, like, the first few games, all, like, the new players who had never played shit, like, didn't know where to go. Sure. Didn't know all the sure. corners to hide it. And, like, it was... You can be, like, halfway up the stairs, so your upper body's above, and you can shoot, but they can't really get to you very well. Yep. You know, yep. You keep all yeah, the no, corners. Know. You know I, the I, angles. Listen, I... I'm pretty sure I did a residency there. <laughs> uh, I remember it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyways, they, they they did it pretty well. They did it. Uh, that's that's all I'm saying. It was pretty good. I think you would enjoy it. I think you'd be happy. I think it would uh, solve your teleprompter issues. It, would, it won't solve that, but... <laughs> well, the, <laughs> yeah, before we moved, I, I always, I've always had a screen over here, but that was the screen I used for my Xbox. And um, now I use it. It's not the same screen, actually, but it's positioned similarly. But uh, that was that was my dual screen approach before Xbox and PC. You know, that made some sense. That's a tool. That's like a two screen setup. I could you know wrap my head around. I like see. I think it depends how you have your two screen setup. The way I work is I have yeah. one that is quite literally right in front of me. Mm-hmm. And then the other one's off angled like 35 degrees. Because I can't do like some people have dual monitors like in the in the line is like right in front of their eyeball like no no oh that, no that's no, no. sacrilegious no 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 so you have no. one your primary and yes. then like the secondary yep. yeah in fact if anything what I've done is I moved it closer so that it's kind of close to the edge of the display this is probably a, well depending on where mm-hmm. I sit there's like an inch gap there but uh, you know they're the same height and same size and all that I don't know I just can't. What do you use? What secondary screen? So what's on the secondary screen? Like Twitter and stuff like that. Spotify, Twitter, Spotify. and Teams and Loop. So I use. I know mm-hmm. this is gonna sound hilarious because it's what we make. I use Groupie two on the secondary monitor only, and I have uh, Teams and Loop uh-huh. in a group, and then I have Spotify and uh, TweetDeck in a group. So I can just quickly move between everything and keep them nice, and then I have it auto ruled set up so that every time I open these apps they're already grouped and they just pop to the monitor. Okay. It's the future. The wow starts now, Paul Thrupp. Yeah, I I uh I've been experimenting with different layouts. I mm-hmm. I our notes are in Notion right now, so I put them on the display that's down here for this yeah. usually. No. Yeah, usually I did. This time I put it back up on the top normal screen. I put the zoom window down there because I'm like I don't really need to look at that too much. But I really struggle with this. It's really strange. Like, I can't, I've never once settled on something where I'm like, oh, that, okay, there we go. Mm-hmm. You know? Well, you settled for me in this podcast. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs>